Well, ladies and gentlemen, Thrill 6 of all ages, Coast the Chal here, Doncaster born, but built for theme parks. And welcome to a breaking news update, a theme park news update this evening. Nick Varney, CEO of Merlin Entertainment, um, is retiring in the next 12 months. Now, before we get started, make sure you do like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. We are on the road to 3,000 subs and a million views. Let's get there as soon as possible. Also, guys, check the description down below for social media links and the Google Forms link where you buy the camera can submit your own video ideas. And for now, guys, let's have a look at the news of Nick Varney's retirement. So, Merlin Entertainment has announced that Chief Executive, aka CEO, Nick Varney, has informed the company and the board of his intention to retire. The Chief Development Officer, Mark Fisher, is also to retire. Varney's statement is as follows. Merlin has been my life for most of my career. I love the people, the attractions, the visitors, the industry. I'm proud to have played my part and we built Merlin into an incredible business. I know that with our amazing attractions, as well as our committed and capable people, Merlin will go from strength to strength over the coming years. Varney and Fisher will serve a 12 month notice period to allow for a search for successes and handover. In a statement, Merlin said the board is stating a process that will consider both strong internal candidates as well as external candidates, and the board expects that a successor will have been appointed and an orderly handover will have taken place within this period. Now, Varney joined confectionery firm Rotary Macintosh as assistant brand manager back in 1984 after studying the London School of Economics. In an interview with Blue Loop, he said he went to university thinking I wanted to be Prime Minister and came out marketing chocolate bars. However, back in 1990, he was headhunted by the Two Saw Group, who were looking for an FMCG marketer for newly acquired theme park Alton Towers. An early visit to Disney World had left an impression there's just something about those theme parks. He went to join Varden Attractions as Managing Director and led a £47 million management pound buyout from to four million entertainments in 1999. In the next five years, Merlin grew from £7 million Abita to £14.5 million. Pounds. Seeking the market, market consolidate, Varney wrote what he describes as a preposterous strategy paper, proposing that if the company could acquire Legoland and Mountain Two Swords, it could utilise natural synergies and midway attractions clusters to become a global player of significant scale. Since its formation, Merlin has grown from strength to strength in just 19 visitor attractions to the second largest visitor attraction operator in the world after Disney. The business now comprises 140 attractions, 23 hotels and 6 holiday villages spanning 24 countries. The group includes brands such as Legoland, Sea Life, Mountain Two Swords, The Eye and Peppa Pig. Pre-pandemic, the group was known for its impressive growth with a beat uh, increasing from £7 million to £569 million back in 2019. The chair of Merlin Entertainment, Rowan Hernandez, stated in a statement, I'd like to thank Nick for his outstanding leadership of Merlin Entertainment over the last 23 years. He's created one of the best leisure businesses in the world through his passion, dedication and talent. The growth has been incredible, particularly through a period of such macro change. He will leave Merlin in strong shape to continue creating and delivering memorable experiences to our millions of guests around the world. Nick and Mark will be in place and wholly focused for some time and we are fortunate to have an exceptional team in place. On behalf of the board and shareholders, we are extremely grateful to Nick and Mark for their remarkable service to the company and wish them all the best. There we are, ladies and gentlemen, Thrill Six of all ages. That is the news that Nick Varney and, of course, Mark Fisher as well, the Chief Development Officer of Merlin, will also retire in the 12-month notice period. Now, what does this mean for Merlin Entertainment? I think it means one of two things. It could either mean a similar process to what they're doing now in terms of investing in new attractions, the way they're doing it, the way they're using intellectual properties with the Merlin parks, um, and things like that. Or it could go down the other route, which means huge changes. And I talk, when I say huge, I mean huge chances, uh, changes, sorry. Now, you know, Nick Varney goes with my best wishes, Mark Fisher goes with my best wishes, as does every theme park enthusiast out there. I think you look back on Nick Varney's time at Merlin, and you look back on it as a, as a, Overall, a decent time. Overall, a decent time. Because you've got to think, he's been at Merlin for 20 plus years. So he's overseen a lot of developments um, at multiple different parks. If you're talking 20 plus years, you are literally 
talking the time when air was created, the time when stealth went in, saw the ride went in, um, you know, Spinball Wizard, 13, the Corkscrew's retirement, um, you know, just so many classic attractions coming and going, so many amazing rides being introduced to the UK, and Nick Varney's helped oversee 20 plus years of change across all the parks that Merlin owns, all the attractions that Merlin owns, different versions of the dungeons, Madden Two Swords, the Sea Lives, bringing in Peppa Pig as recently as the past year or so. It's just been it. It's such a revolutionary time, and I my era of theme parks has been Nick Varney at Merlin. That's been my era, Nick Varney at Merlin. So Nick goes with my best wishes, as does Mark Fisher as well. And um, we'll see what happens to Merlin over the next 24, uh, over the next um, two years, sorry, I was going to say 24 months. Um, but to be fair, 24 months as well. Uh, 24 months plus, you yeah, know, it's going to be very interesting to see what happens to Merlin. So uh, we will see. But Nick Varney and Mark Fisher go with my best wishes. So that is going to be it for this video, guys. Make sure you do like, comment, subscribe. And for now, my Miss Coast shall keep living the ghost life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a Merlin. Fantastic day. Nick Varney, Mark Fisher, we salute you.